Today we're going to be doing the clucking bell farm rate in less than 45 minutes which will allow you to unlock the clucking bell outfit or the clucking bell overalls. So before we start going through all the prep missions until the finale, I'm going to let you guys know a few tips to save a lot of time so you guys can unlock this challenge fairly easily. The first one is to go to an invite only session where there will be no interruptions whatsoever as the timer will start counting when you start the first mission which is slush fun. Next you want to ensure that you stock up with full armors or snacks because you don't want to be dying in the middle of mission which will add more downtime and don't forget to use that weapon wheel shortcut to use your snacks and body armor. The next part if you're not confident best to do it in normal difficulty rather than hard as you have one more extra life just in case if you die in the middle of the mission you don't have to restart the entire mission all over again. And the final tip would be to use the drop teleport especially after completing the hit and run which is the getaway prep mission you'll be spawning at Palito Bay on the northern side of the map. You don't want to fly or drive back to the city. You want to use the job teleport instead. So you want to open your interaction menu, go to preferences, go to map clips option, and you want to go to jobs. You want to set all jobs to customs, and you want to ensure that the stun race job is set to show. Now, if you open up your map, you'll be able to see this job's indicated by the blue icons. You want to scroll down, find Vincent, the letter V on the map. Click on the stun race job, which is the nearest to the letter V. And then you want to join and start this job. Okay, the important part to make this done is when you see the vehicle selection screen, you just want to back out and then you'll be successfully teleported near the letter V where you can quickly start the next mission. All right, now with all the tips out of the way, let's start with the first mission called the Slush Fun. There'll be two points on the map, A and B. You wanna be going to the B first, collect all the money from the laundry machines. Don't forget to take out the gang members outside of the compound as well as inside. Once they're done, you wanna go outside and then there'll be vehicles spawning, try to kill you. So you wanna quickly head over to point A, do the same thing, clear all the gang members, get inside and get all the money. Head outside, clear the gang members, and then drive back to Vincent to complete the first part of the mission. The reason that you go to point B first and then A is that because Vincent's garage where you need to turn in the task is located near point A. So after completing point A, you just can go to this point quickly and then just complete the mission. For the second part of the mission called breaking and entering, There'll be the terabyte icon and the laptop icon. You want to be going to the laptop icon first before going to the terabyte icon. This is because the last part of the mission, which is to steal the train, is located near the Elysian Island, which is way south on the map. All right, now let's head over to the laptop icon. Firstly, you want to check the text message from Vincent. Sometimes he'll send the employee picture with a black shirt, and sometimes he'll send you a picture with employees wearing blue. And he could be wearing any other college shirt as well as you want to pay attention to that. For example, I got the blue one here, so I'm going to look for someone that is wearing a blue shirt. And usually there'll be a laptop nearby. And usually he'll be distracted doing something like playing an arcade or looking through items inside a store. So you want to grab his laptop. This is the first location on the map. Alright, now is the second location that I found him. He's wearing a blue shirt and this will be his exact location on the map. Alright, next I'm looking for an employee that is wearing black and he's playing an arcade right here and he left his laptop on this gaming table so you want to grab that. Here's his exact location as you can see on the map. And here's another one, he's wearing black and he's at the vicinity playing an arcade and you want to find him at this location right here. Once you got a laptop, you just want to leave the area. And now let's head over to the terabyte icon. Firstly, Vincent will send you a text message with the terabyte picture. And then you're going to be going to the terabyte icon on your map. Once you're close enough, there'll be a huge yellow circle on the mini map where you have to find the terabyte. So you're going to be driving around and then pay attention to the drone sound. Then the terabyte icon will appear on your map. I found mine at this location right here. 
After that, more drones will spawn and you have to kill them. Some of them are like kamikaze drones, so you have to really be careful. After you clear them all, you can now enter the terabyte and then just grab the hacking device. And you're pretty much done for this part. For the final part of this mission, you need to be heading over to the cartel's compound. The place will be heavily guarded. You want to take out all the gang members and one of them will drop the key to the train. Once you got the key, you just want to go to the train and then press the key to enter the train just like you enter any vehicle. And now you can actually drive the train by going forward, braking, as well as you can use weapon to shoot. The train is pretty much unstoppable so you don't have to worry about it. So for this part, all you have to do is just, there'll be different stations where you have to use the hacking device. There'll be a prompt on the top left of your screen that says hack the signal. You gotta do this for a couple of times until finally you've successfully completed the mission. Alright, let's get started with the third mission which is a weapon prep mission called Concealed Weapons. There'll be three points on your map, A, B, and C. You can check out Vincent's text message that will show you pictures and gears that you can get from these different locations, although it's pretty vague. Here are some of the weapon loadouts and gear that I was able to obtain from the cruise ship which is point B. I'm not sure whether this loadout is going to be random. I got the professionals loadout which includes the heavy rifle, tactical SMG, heavy shotgun and pipe bombs from the cruise ship. As well as the professionals gear which includes the medium armor, medium stamina reduction. The cruise ship seems to have both loadouts and also gear. When I went to point A, I was able to only see weapons and I have to travel to another location to get the gear. The loadouts that I was able to get at point A is the Grande loadout which includes the compact rifle, combat pistol, mini SMG crowbar as well as molotovs. While at point C, I was able to get the military loadout with MG AP pistol combat shotgun as well as grenades. There are no gear here so I have to travel to another location to obtain them as well. So in order to save time, I always like to go to the cruise ship and get both the loadouts and gear at the same time. Here's a clip of me doing the cruise ship. You just want to park nearby and get on the jet ski, get on board and you want to go to the most bottom floor of the ship. I'm not sure whether this is random or not. If you can't find it at the bottom floor, you want to try the other floors as well. So down there, I was able to find the gear as well as the loadout. Once you grab them, you want to go back to land and then deliver those items to Vincent. You just have to grab a minimum of one gear and one loadout. You don't have to get them all. Once you're happy with the loadout and gear and you want to complete the mission, you just have to send a text message to Vincent and choose these loadouts and gear that you want to use for the finale and then you've successfully completed this mission. Once the mission started, you can see three locations on your map and if you open the text message from Vincent, you can see what getaway vehicles are available in each location. You only have to get one getaway vehicle. The first getaway vehicle is the Squatty. This is the most durable one and the slowest one. I think you can get other 4x4 vehicle in the same category. This vehicle is only suitable if you want to unlock the straps bananas. That will require you to do the finale without alerting any guards. It will be easier to use the squaddy to climb up mountains compared to the normal sports car as your getaway vehicle. The next type of vehicle that you should always get is the sports car or the tuner's car. This will be the fastest one as you need to get from point A to point B which is quite far from all the way up to the north at Palito Bay where you do the clucking bell farm raid finale and you have to drive all the way down south back to the city. The next set of the vehicles are the muscle cars. I got the Impaler LX. I think this will be in the middle. It won't be as fast and it won't be as durable as the other two vehicles. Obtaining the cars are pretty challenging as well. For example, when I was trying to get the squaddy, I have to shoot a rocket on a cargo bob to let it drop the squaddy. For the muscle car, I have to actually find a hidden fuse near the rooftop of this garage. In order to open the garage door so I can access the vehicle. And I have to find a hidden ramp and jump through it to get the sports car. So it's a pretty fun and challenging mission. 
Once you got your vehicle, you just have to drive it to the Clucking Bell factory garage where Vincent will ask you to go there. And then you can just text Vincent on which car that you want to use. And you successfully completed the hit and run mission. So I think the best car to get is the sports car so you can complete the entire Clucking Bell mission in less than 45 minutes. After the mission starts, Vincent will ask you to drive to the Clucking Bell's outlet where you'll see two cartel vans, they will split up and you have to chase one of them first. Then you want to get close to it and press the right d-pad to hack the vehicle. Once you've hacked one, you want to quickly go to the other vehicle and hack it as well. After you hack both vans, you have the option to kill the gang members inside of the van and you'll be able to loot them to get this clock and bell kind of like mechanic outfit which Vincent says will improve your stealth capability while doing the next part of the mission. All right now I'm going to explain to you about how to choose the stealth or the aggressive approach. If you want to do a stealth run for the Clucking Bell farm raid while doing the setup mission called Disorganized Crime, when you enter the cartel's garage, you want to ensure two things. Firstly, you want to ensure that there are no witnesses that are able to escape the garage the second thing, you need to make sure that you wipe out the CCTV camera footage before exiting the garage. For example here, if you alerted the CCTV or the guards, there'll be a takeout witnesses timer at the bottom right of your screen. You want to ensure that this timer do not run out. Otherwise, you won't be able to do the stealth run unless you join a new session and restart the entire mission. As you can see here, I'm able to take out all the witnesses and now you have to go to the security room and then just interact with the CCTV to wipe out the records. With these two things done, you are able to do the clocking bell farm raid in stealth mode. Alright, next you just have to sabotage the vehicles by interacting with them once you sabotage them all. You just have to go to this locker room where you have to find a way to unlock the lockers. You want to go back outside to the compound right on top of this boxes. There'll be a yellow drill. You can use the drill to unlock the safe and find the key card which is needed for the finale. You can also drill all the lockers if you want. There'll be just small amount of money and sometimes there'll be nothing. All you have to do now is just exit the garage. Once outside, you just have to get on a truck that is carrying some clocking bell crates and just bring it back to Vincent. This is a little concerning. Should I have added air holes? Cluck twice if you're in trouble. Okay, good. Now remember, when you burst out of that crate, you'll be in the heart of that operation. How you choose to use the element of surprise is up to you. This is it. Good luck. locations. Clear out all the stashes. There should also be a safe nearby. Grab whatever's inside. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you acquired. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory. a little more quiet, man. What the fuck? Yeah, just don't fucking bother me, man.
Targeting quiet should grant you access to restricted areas in the factory, including the basement. It's clear this place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. One would assume they'd have more cuck and bell staff to keep up appearances, but I underestimated just how bold criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. Once you get into the storage area, fill your pockets. What a bunch of casaca. Shit, man. Once we made it to this point, 
All you have to do is find where the signal is the strongest. If the device is showing blue, you're headed in the right direction. Red, you're not. Once it's caught the connection, find the next one. I gotta admit, quite apart from this being Excellent work, mission accomplished. 